So the last time I made a video, I swore a lot <laughs> and it was really popular. Um, so if you've come back looking for a lot of swearing, I may disappoint you today because today I want to talk about something that um, just makes me really happy uh, and really excited and um, really proud actually. But first I want to tell you about this problem that a lot of people um, tell me they have and that I know I've had a lot in the past and even now. And that is, uh, so people hear about my um, online yoga course, 30 Days of Yoga, or about my yoga classes that I teach here in New Zealand, and um, they will say to me, oh my God, Mary Ann, that is exactly what I need. Um, I'm so stressed. I'm so tense. My body is so uptight. <clears throat> I'm constantly anxious. I know I need it, um, but I'm just way too busy to do it now. As soon as things quiet down a little bit, I am so going to do that course with you. And whenever I hear that, um, I, I make a little mental note to myself, Marianne, you have to help these people. <laughs> you have to help these people because the truth is, it's not going, they're not going to get less busy. Um, as long as they keep saying, you know, they'll start dealing with their anxiety and their stress and their tension once they are less busy. Because the problem is that um, that anxiety, that stress, that tension is kind of self-perpetuating. And I'm telling you this very much from personal experience. When I get busy, one of the things that happens sometimes is that I start to neglect the very practices that keep me centered, that keep me grounded, that keep me connected to what I know to be true and to, you know, the, the source, which for me is, you know, love and joy and um, insight and equanimity. And when I get disconnected from all of that, um, I, I lose my um, discernment, actually. I lose my ability to make wise ch choices. And so I get kind of caught on this wheel where I'm just kind of, continuously busy and I get busier and busier and um, and the stress builds up and the tension builds up and I feel more and more tired and um, and I think I look at other people and I think wow wouldn't it be nice if I had time to do the things they're doing and I don't realize anymore that the reason I don't have time for them is simply because I'm not making them a priority I'm not choosing to take care of myself so that's easy enough for me to say and it's actually re relatively easy for me to fix it because I have enough of a deep experience of the power of those practices that I'm highly motivated to return to them when I lose them. If you've never had that experience or if you've only had little tiny tastes of it, it's going to be that much harder for you. And so I thought, Marianne, you've got to make it easier. You've got to make it easier for people who are too busy to do this. And so I've been working on a new course, and this new course is going to be a 30 days of yoga course for people who are too busy to do yoga. And uh, I'm really excited about this offering because um, I think it's going to be what, um, what you need, <laughs> what we all need, um, what so many of us need. Um, I think it's going to be a really fantastic way to, um, to take a small step towards having a regular embodied mindful practice in your day. And I know the powerful ripples that will come out of that. And um, I suspect that you will be really surprised at how little you need to do every day to feel those powerful ripples. And that's what makes this really wonderful because I'm designing practices that start at five minutes long and go from five up to 10 to 15. And the longest practice is 20 minutes long. That's the longest practice in this offering. And uh, what I know is that if you do some of these practices every day, maybe let's say six days a week, you will see a difference. You will start to feel able to connect into the stable, calm inner part of yourself. You will be able to reconnect with the part of you that knows what you really want and need. And you will start to feel that softening 
which is so profound. When we get busy and uptight and we harden, we really stop the flow of everything. We stop the flow of our own breath. We stop the flow of our own joy. We stop quite literally the flow of love and connection between us and other people. And, um, and we want all that. And we're afraid that we've lost it, so we tighten up even more. And uh, so these little practices will be practices to soften, to let go of the tension in your body, and to reconnect with the anchor of your body, your breath, and your connection to your own wisdom. So I'm really excited about it. Um, but it's not all locked in yet. I'm still working on it for the next couple of weeks. And so I wanted to tell you about it so that I could ask you for your input. If you are one of the people who is too busy to do yoga on a regular basis in your life, and there's something that you think would really make a course like this work for you, please tell me what it is. <laughs> I want to make this work for you. I really do. I, um, I so want to help people who are stuck in the cycle of busyness and who know that if they could just crack the door a little and make that tiny little step towards the mindful practice, that that would start to ripple out. So whatever it is that you think would really work for you, let me know. I'm not promising I'll be able to include everything. Um, and there might be some things that I uh, don't include in this offering, but that I take on board and I think that I'll, I'll include somehow in the future. But yeah, let me know. Send me an email. Write a comment um, on this post. Get in touch with me on Twitter. Uh, I want to make this work for you. And um, that's it, really. <laughs> yoga for people who are too busy to do yoga. I'm really excited about it. Um, those of you who are still waiting on the 90 days to deepen your practice or 90 days to sustain your practice, the three-month carry-on from the 30 days of yoga course, that's also back on track. Um, it did get um, sidelined, sadly, while the restaurant was being opened and my book was being finalized, but is now back on track and I hope to be able to make an announcement about that soon as well. Um, there's actually also another really exciting project in the works for um, 30 Days of Yoga where I'm going to be working with um, Anna Guest Jelly of Curvy Yoga. So all sorts of really, really fun things coming up, things that I um, hope are going to give you exactly what you need and support you in your yoga practice. Um, yeah, it's fun. I'm back. <laughs> so let me know what you think and um, I'll be uh, telling you more about it in, uh, next week. Okay, thanks, and you know, be kind to yourself.